It's going to work a few problems here from uh, 3.8. Now this one's 13, so suppose that y is inversely proportional to x. That means we have y equals k over x. It says find the constant of proportionality k if y equals 5 when x is 3. So that means 5 equals k over 3. We multiply by 3, not 5. And then k equals 15. That's where we get the 15. And so using k from above, write the variation equation in terms of x. As we saw, it's 15 over x. And using the k from above, find any given, find y given that x is 18. So y would be 15 over 18, which reduces to be 5 sixths, and as a decimal, that's 0 0.833333, three goes on forever. Okay, so that's how we're doing this. Okay, moving on to number 15, y varies inversely as x. So again, y equals k over x. If x is 4, then y is 8. So 8 equals k over 4. We multiply by 4 to find our k. I forgot to say to have the answer given to us. So k would equal 4 times 8 is 32. So y equals 32 divided by x. So this says find y when x is 5. So y equals 32 divided by 5, which would be, what, 6.4? Let's look at this number 17 here. The water temperature in the ocean varies inversely, so temperature varies inversely as the depth of the water. So I'll go do K over D. The deeper a person dives, the colder the water becomes. At a depth of 1200 meters, the water temperature is six degrees Celsius. So six equals K divided by D. And then we're gonna, oh, K divided by 1200, excuse me. So we're going to find K, so multiply both sides by 1200. So 7200 equals K. So this is 7200, as you see here. And it says using K from the above, find the water temperature in degrees Celsius at a depth of 800. So this is less steep, so the temperature should be more, not less. So we'd have temperature equals the 7200 divided by 800, and we get 9. That's where the 9 degrees Celsius comes from. Okay. Moving on. The wavelength of a radio wave varies inversely, so wavelength varies inversely as the frequency. I can go on for a long time talking about frequencies and wavelengths. A wave with a frequency of 1200 kilohertz, kilohertz, excuse me if I said that wrong, has a length of 300 meters. So we have 300 equals K over 1200. And what is the length of a wave with a frequency of 180. So what is the length of the wave with frequency? So then we're going from 300 to 180. So that's getting smaller. So the other one should be getting bigger. Anyway, so we're going to multiply by 1200. We're going to get 36 with one, two, three, four zeros is our K. So W equals 360000, zero, 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 so 360,000 divided by F. So we're looking at 360,000 divided by 180. So that's going to cancel. And then 18 goes into 36 two times, so it's 2,000 is our wavelength. That's what we have here, 2,000. 
Okay, the last one that oh, there's the last one. So hopefully that makes sense um, and how you're working these problems. If not, please let me know and I'll work some more for you. Okay, let's finish strong, everyone.